if you are in the market for a POS system, and more importantly, if you are thinking about signing up for Toast POS, you are not going to want to miss this video because I'm going to tell you why using Toast could be the biggest mistake you ever make in your business. Hey there, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here. So let's talk Toast. Okay, right now, Toast is the most popular restaurant POS system on the market. Okay, I believe it has something like 25 to 30% of U.S. restaurant owners use Toast as their POS, and that's massive. Okay, however, popular does not always equate to good. Okay, like in the case of, say, I don't know, cigarettes. There's over a billion smokers. It's very popular. It gives you cancer. So I wouldn't recommend that. I'm just saying. All right, now I will say that Toast technology is very good. It's easy to use, and it has about all the features you would ever want or need to run your business. In fact, as early as two years ago, I had Toast listed as in my top five POS systems simply because of the technology. Okay, however, if you've watched any of my videos in the past talking about Toast, you would have also heard me say that there was a reason I didn't have them at number one. And it's because I have received dozens of complaints from my community describing the questionable tactics in which Toast would have where they place like hidden fees or stipulations in the contract that they never shared verbally with the owners, which ended up costing them thousands of dollars. And this left a horde of enraged restaurant owners in its wake. Okay, and with, with complaints, you always have to take them with some sort of, you know, grain of salt because people love to complain in general, all right? It makes them happy to be so miserable. But the anger was so strong that I suspected there was some truth to it. Okay, which brings us to today's video. Okay, the other day, a man named Matt Wilhelmson that you see here, he emailed me an article written on foxbusiness.com, which is a major news media platform, obviously, one of the biggest. And the article is about Toast and their newest shady policy they've implemented, which has infuriated business owners across the restaurant landscape. All right, and in a minute, I'll tell you what happened since that article. All right, but first, Here's what's going on. All right, I feel like a newscaster right now. Toast, which is in more than 85,000 locations now, has unilaterally added a 99 cent fee to any online orders over $10 nationwide to the consumer. Okay, not to the restaurants that they're doing business with, to the restaurant owners that they signed a contract with. I'm talking directly to the guests ordering from the restaurant who never agreed to do business with Toast. All right, and neither the restaurant nor the customer has any say about this. Okay, they're like disgruntled peasants who are at the mercy of the royal powers that be. All right, with this bit of news coming out, I am in now 100% full agreement with all the complaints I've ever received from my community, and that is Toast is a greedy, unethical company of slime buckets that you do not want to be associated with. Shame. And yes, that's harsh, but this is flat out reprehensible. Okay, if you have any thoughts on this, go ahead and you know pour your heart out in the comments below. Okay, now let's talk about how Toast makes its money in the first place. Well, when you sign up with Toast, you have to use their payment processing, which is becoming very popular with POS systems these days. That means that they're making money on all the transaction fees that go through, as well as the hardware, as well as the monthly subscription fees. Okay, and believe me, I have no problem with a company making a boatload of money. All right, that's why you're in business, to make money. Okay, but when you go outside the ethical lines and you start siphoning money from the public who never agreed to be in business with you in the first place, that's crooked. Okay, so why did they do it then? All right, why did Toast find like a backdoor way to try to make money for themselves? Okay, well, the fact is Toast is losing money hand over fist. Okay, in 2022, they lost $275 million. And in the first quarter of 2023, they lost $81 million, putting them on pace to lose more than $320 million in 2023. Okay, so something is obviously broken in their business model. Okay, Toast claims that they added the 99 cent fee so they can use the money toward research and further development of their POS so we can all prosper. Yeah, uh, I call bullshit. Okay, this is patronizing and insulting to our intelligence to believe that they are using that money for anything other than to bail themselves out of debt. Okay, so why am I, the consumer, suddenly involved in your new business plan to fund and save you from bankruptcy? 
Okay, that's like me inviting you to you to my wedding and charging you a fee in order to pay for it. So my father-in-law doesn't have to. Okay, use your own goddamn money to research and develop your product. This isn't a fund me. All right, I didn't purchase a burger from my favorite restaurant so I can involuntarily donate to your research and development fee. Okay, Toast goes on to say that in the article that this is good for all those involved. Wow. Thanks, Amon Narang. All right, he's the co-founder of Toast. Thanks for shaking my hand while you pick my pocket with the other hand and tell me what's best for me and my money. Okay, in addition, get this. Restaurant owners will be forced to show the 99 cent fee that Toast is implementing as income, even though the money is lifted out of their bank accounts by Toast. So the restaurants have to pay the taxes on these fees. How is that even legal? In essence, the customer is being punished for ordering from the restaurants using Toast, and it appears to be a fee from the restaurant, so it gives them a bad name. <coughs> now, maybe you're watching this and you're thinking that, a 99 cent fee doesn't sound like the end of the world to you, all right? But it's not just about the size of the fee. It's the lack of control business owners have over it, okay? Who's to say that they won't move that fee to like $2 or $3 next, okay? The point is that you don't want to be in business with a company run by people who are basically saying, F you, we'll do whatever the hell we want and there's nothing you can do about it or anything your customers can do about it. Okay, they have no morals. It's like the leaders of Enron got together and decided to start a POS company. Okay, you aren't just buying the system, you're buying the people behind the system, and the people behind the system, behind Toast, obviously have no conscience if they think this is okay. And this is why we end up hating big bully corporations because of people like the leaders of Toast. Okay, now, I promised you that I would tell you what's happened since that article was written on July 11th, all right, less than two weeks ago as of this date. Okay, after that article was published, two days later, Fox Business followed up with an article stating that congressional leaders are now demanding answers from Toast and this slimy betrayal that has caused an uproar among the restaurant owners. In fact, the representative from Missouri, Mark Alford, stated about Toast, we are going full steam ahead with investigation, I'm sorry, with investigating the propriety of their way of doing business. And when the government gets involved, that right there should send up skyrockets because that tells you that an unethical nerve has been hit. All right, so there you go. Toast has been exposed now for exploiting consumers without consent of the business owners and then just taking the money for themselves like a bunch of brute tech bullies. Okay, so for I, for one, am grateful for the whistle, whistle bro, excuse me, the whistleblowers on this because Toast has been towing this immoral tightrope for some time now. And now they've officially shown who they are and they've hung themselves. Okay, you've officially been warned. So if you crawl into bed with them, don't come running to me like someone took your crayons away. Okay, and let's thank uh, Matt Wilhelmson as well for bringing this to my attention. Thank you, Matt, for putting out the bat signal and keeping all the restaurant owners and their customers safe. Okay, to the rest of you, I want to thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. I'm going to see you next time. I'm out.